If you're applying the Canadian PR through the Express Entry program, there's a valid concern that you might have. Let's suppose you get the golden mail, your ITA, and a few days or weeks or months after that, you have your birthday. So of course, your points will get deducted. So what will happen in that case? Will you be not eligible or will you still be eligible and meet the eligibility criteria? So we'll discuss this in this video. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shetan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos every week, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so let's first of all understand the situation with the help of an example, a very simple example. So let's suppose there's a guy. His date of birth is 15th January 1988. He created his Express Entry profile on 1st of January 2019 and his CRS score was 450 at that point of time. On 1st of January 2019, when he created his profile, his age was 30 years, right? Now, few days after that, the first Express Entry draw happened. The cutoff score for this draw was 449. It was 10th of January. Because the cutoff score was 449 and his score was 450, he got the ITA. Now, few days after that, it was his birthday. So, as you are aware that uh, after 30 years of age, 5 or 6 points get deducted every year when your age increases. So now, after getting the ITA, his CRS score becomes 444. So, what will happen in that case? He has time to submit the documents and uh, submit the application for the PR for two months, let's say 10th of March 2019. But now his score is reduced. So, what will happen in this case? So, this is the complete scenario which I'm going to explain through this video. Okay, so to start with the research, I started with my own ITA. Uh, not many people will show you these kind of documents, but uh, I've made sure that all the uh, personal information is hidden over there. So you can check out my name over here. And it clearly says that we are pleased to invite you to apply for a permanent residence under the Federal Skilled Worker Program. And 432 was my score back then. It was 2017. And uh, I got three months time to submit all the documents and submit the application. At that point of time, it was three months. Now it is two months. And uh, so he, here it is, uh, so many people are waiting for this exact mail, for this exact letter. Now what I need to point out here is this line. It is specially mentioned over here that if you had a birthday since we sent you this invitation and the change of your age decreases your points total, this will not cause us to refuse your application for permanent residence. So it is very clearly mentioned in the ITA itself that it would not cause the refusal of your application okay so uh, to move ahead with the research i googled it and then i found this important link in the uh, canada.ca website which is the official website of government of canada so it is written over here under section a 11.2 so it's very important to understand the section uh, it says that under section uh, a 11.2 an officer may not issue a visa to an applicant who did not or does not meet the express entry minimum eligibility criteria or did not or does not possess the qualifications for which they received the CRS score at that time when the ITA was issued or the EAPR was received by IRCC. So this is the uh, section which actually enables the visa officers to uh, refuse the applications of uh, candidates who do not meet the eligibility criteria and they've got the ITAs. So over here in this page, they have mentioned very clearly about the birthday as well. Exemption to section A 11.2. Candidates whose birthday occurs after they receive an ITA. So this is an exemption. Again, very clearly mentioned over here. When a change in age results in the candidate no longer meeting the MEC, which is the minimum eligibility criteria, or having their recalculated CRS points score fall below the lowest point score in that round of invitation, officers should consider applying the public policy to exempt applicants from for permanent residence 
from certain age based requirements between invitation to apply and application based on this section. This consideration can result in an exemption from the refusal of an application under section A11.2. So it is very clearly mentioned if you go on to this link over here, they have you know mentioned this is a letter from uh, the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Aging is a change of circumstance that an applicant has no ability to control or remedy and therefore warrants a special dispensation from the requirements. These applicants would likely be refused resulting in a loss of application fees. So this is an exemption, you know, ideally because your score gets reduced. So uh, your application could have been refused and or rejected and uh, your it would result in your loss of application fees as well. But this is an exemption very clearly mentioned in both the ITA when you would receive it and there in the Canada.ca website as well. I'll provide the link in the description box below. So if you want, you can also go ahead and check it out yourself. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that this query is quite clear now. I'm not really sure how this rumor actually came into picture, but some people got really confused uh, with this scenario over here. So I decided to make this video. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please click the like button if you like the video and also share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe it right now.